Okay. So the question says. Explain Ruth Benedict's patterns of culture. Explain Ruth Benedict's patterns of culture. It's a culture and a patterning of the culture. What does culture mean? means learned behavior as opposed to biological. Patterns of culture is a is, a, is the title of the book she wrote in 1934. So, a culture, according to her, has a pattern. What is meant by pattern? Pattern means various elements of culture, A, B, C, D, E, various elements of culture are related in a way, there is a pattern. Pattern means elements related. Related in a way, if something comes out, there is a whole as more than parts. So the theme is the learned behavior of a society has certain elements and those elements are related that constitute a theme that is a pattern. So that is the that is what she wanted to say. It is nothing more than saying that culture is holistic or culture is a whole and culture is integrated. Okay. The idea that the culture is whole and culture is integrated. That is what pattern is. But Benedict doesn't stop there. That's where her real contribution is. She says this pattern not just has an order, but that order corresponds to a personality. So in essence, she is saying a culture is a personality. A culture is a personality magnified. A particular culture is a particular individual magnified. Personality magnified many times is culture. She is not only saying that there is a pattern. That pattern is a personality. That is going a step ahead of the idea that it is integrated. It is 
coming out with more specifics. What is the evidence? In her book, she mentions three societies. Zuni of US, Quakite, Canada. Two. There is a third one also. Zuni society is producing a particular personality she calls Apollonia. Apollonian personality is individualistic. Apollonian personality is okay is cooperative personality, not individualistic. Apollonian is cooperative, not individualistic. So that's why certain individual, certain ceremonies are less emphasized for example initiation ceremony or marriage ceremony or death ceremony they are not given so much importance just like individuals go through and uh, It's like this. Whereas in a cockite, highly individualism. Individual is given importance. So these ceremonies are given so much importance. Death is mourn, marriage is taken seriously, initiation ceremony is taken seriously. So what she wants to say is, one culture is producing an individualism, another culture is producing a kind of a cooperative and collective oriented and friendly person. So that's what she wants to say. In this, leadership positions are declined. There is a medicine society. But here, leadership positions are sought after. There is a medicine man. So what she wants to say is that there are different elements that are linked, linked in a way they are producing a personality. Elements linked and producing a personality. Apollonian in Zuni and what she called Dionos in Cockite. Elements are linked. So it's a part of a culture and personality school. And she takes up one more culture. That is Dibons of Melanesia. She says this culture is producing a personality that is paranoid. Man is 
afraid of things, scared of things. So this is what she said. Three cultures and three persons. So that is the theme of her book. But what are the implications of this? She works out these implications also. Number one, if culture is producing a personality, how is it doing? We know that man is same. Is same. But C1 is making P1 out of him, C2 is making P2 out of him, C3 is making P3 out of him, out of him. That is, man contains so many possibilities, but culture is socializing a person in a way that a part of behavior is punished, a part of behavior is reinforced. So out of a range of possibilities in a man, C1 will emphasize this, C2 may emphasize this, C3 something else. That is how Culture by rewarding and punishing, producing a person. This has implications. Implications to understanding oneself. For example, if you, if one doesn't feel get along with the culture, one doesn't feel getting along with the culture. If one is considered the deviant, it is deviant because he is expected to be like P1 and he is not. In a paranoid society, a confident man is a deviant. In a quarreling society, a friendly man is a deviant. So is deviance wrong? It doesn't seem to be. Deviance simply is the failure of the culture to force, to force a person into a particular personality. So most people fit in and some people don't. Those who don't fit in are called a deviant. So what does all this mean? It has many implications. Number one, culture is a way of life. Culture is particular socialization. particular socialization which may vary from place to place. Okay, so cultures vary different from place to place and uh, values appreciated in one culture are not appreciated in another culture. So, it is not right to judge one culture on the basis of another culture. This is what is called cultural relativism. So, 
man should there are two things here one at a society level and another at a individual level at society level cultures have their own patterns you can't judge one with visa with the other that one should understand and at an individual level one may not fit the pattern of the culture so that leads to conflict and uh, socialization attempts but socialization fails so it means that individual should understand cultures in a relative sense and it also means individuals should understand others individual other individuals and empathize without possibly reference to those particular cultural values surely these are the relativistic and humanistic values that the idea the idea the idea behind patterns of culture promotes definitely so in that sense this book patterns of culture carving conveys, conveys